Now though, things are still shaky in Shortland Street as Maya continues to resist help while it seems Scotty's marriage is in need of a helping hand too. Just get out of my way and let me get back! Maya's lost the plot, totally. You are mentally unstable. I am here by sectioning you. I am not going to sectioning you! No, 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 no! I'm so crazy! Besides, Dr. Wilkins won't mind. How many times do I have to say it? I shouldn't be here. Did you have some breakfast? The hideous brown flood the woman claimed was coffee. Don't knock it. Our coffee motivates people to get better quicker. But I don't need it to get better because I shouldn't be here. This is just some bizarre overreaction by my sister. It's good you have family concern for you. A lot of folk here don't have that luxury. Oh, no, you don't, Pat. <laughs> Thank you. I should be with my son, he'll be beside himself. Our sisters are looking after him. Try not to worry. But I shouldn't be here. Oh, I'm a mess. Look at me. You sure we did the right thing? Libby. It's not every day you put your sister in the loony bin. It's not a loony bin. It's a psych unit. Have you been there? No. But we'll get to see it today when we meet her doctor. She didn't mean to harm JJ. She didn't know what she was doing. Okay, she would have left him in the car like that all day. And there's no way she should be caring for patients. What do you think's gonna happen to her? I honestly don't know. A mistake's been made. I've been sectioned by my sister who is a nurse with no formal psych training. So if you call my mother Yvonne Jeffries, she'll put this right. And how will she do that? By explaining that this is all just a misunderstanding. My sister got it into her head that I'm suffering some sort of post-traumatic stress disorder. Last night you mentioned the death of a patient you were close to. Verity? Yeah, I had a patient die, one that I'd become friendly with. Naturally, you are upset when she passed on. Well, I was upset, yes, but I wasn't driven temporarily insane. I mean, come on, you care for a patient and they die and you're upset, but as you can see, I'm fine now. Forgive me if I suggest you don't seem fine. Forgive me, but I have been forcibly separated from my son. Can you imagine how a mother might feel? What we're going to do today is just give you a chance to catch your breath. And then after lunch, we can continue with the assessment. So I can go home first. I'm sorry, I thought we made it clear last night you'd be with us for about five days. Plenty of time to see how things stand. And if there's been a misunderstanding, we can sort that out after lunch, all right? I could do with a nap in a padded cell, someone delivering cups of tea. Oh, she's always been wound up pretty tightly. Yeah, but to leave her little boy locked in a car, that's more than pretty tight. I just feel sorry for the woman. You're going to be standing in? I so. Have we heard anything about mine? Sadly, no. As for now, take the same patients you had yesterday. Mrs. Johns in six is NFR. Mr. Lee is getting his barium meal at 10, and the post laminectomy is 7 is clear to go home. Any questions? Uh, do you want me to do acting touch? Let's just see how today pans out before I make any decisions, okay? That's all. Is there a problem? I stood in for Maya last time. I need to see how things are with her first, okay? Well, I'm afraid she won't be back in a hurry. I know that, but it's my decision, so how about we let me make it, okay? Up early, I see. Hardly. Struth! We're all the plates. Tempting as it was to have them bagged as biohazardous material, I washed them and put them away. Plus ça change. Plus c'est la même chose. He's been to Paris. Twice. One doesn't have to be French to appreciate the language or the literature. Now, if you have your lecture material, Andy, I'll uh, drop it in with mine. Um, yeah, not quite complete. You pray you'll do. Hmm. I give up. The deadline is midday. When the little hand hides behind the big hand at the top of the clock. 
You know, sometimes I actually like your dad. Yeah, charm personified my old man, unless you're actually related to him. Oh, it was never a risk for me. No loose women in our family. He's not a snob. He is a snob. One doesn't need to be French. Hey, you? dad just cares about what's good and what isn't, unlike most people who just plug themselves into the tally for six hours a night. Anyway, have you heard anything about Maya? No, nothing. You can have another ciggy in a wee while, eh? I'll stay with you for now. Am I on close watch? You seriously think I'm going to top myself? I don't think anything, Maya. It's just protocol. Goodness sake. I am a charge nurse. I, I am a single parent, a charity worker. Yeah, I get stressed from time to time, but I'm not... I want to phone my son. Of course. Oh, you want to check this first for a, um, a bomb, perhaps, or some, some A-class drugs that I might have smuggled in? No need. If it's not too much trouble, can I have some privacy, please? I'll work just outside. Why aren't you making the acting charge? I said already, I'm waiting on news about Maya. Why are you so itchy and scratchy? Have I done something else to annoy you? No. Then what is it? If I can help ease the burden by taking on Maya's role, why not let me? Look, I know I've been taking out stress on you. Ties an issue, work's an issue, and now with Maya off, I guess it's just getting to me. You're doing so well, I'd be frantic. Plus, we're supposed to go to these hospital awards tonight. You don't want to go? I'd rather spend quiet time with you. Well, then we'll do that. We'll have a nice, quiet night at home. Just the two of us. Unless someone has an arterial bleed, go away. Your conference presentation, Pachon? Go away. Is someone trying to impress Daddy? Ah, man in recess. No, what's up? He's presenting with worsening dyspnea, no chest pain, no edema. Ops. All good. Blood vessels, ECG, NAD. Next rose. Well, this is the one that took the stop. Uh, slight leakage around the op side. But this is today's one, and as you can see, it's... Oh, identical. So, if it's not the op. Oh, no, it's the op, all right. Uh, do a chest CT, probable cement pulmonary embolism, and uh, start him on heparin. Check. Nice work. Daddy would be proud. So I hear you're up for a war tonight. Apparently. Have you told your dad? Our dad would be interested. Of course he would be. Invite him. No. Are you scared that you won't win? No. No! You. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Been a bit moody, thank you. That's all right. I have a theory about that. Snap. Ah, two brains, one mind. Nice. So, do you want to hear my theory? Uh... You work all day looking for problems and solving them, right? My job. And when you come home, you can't help but do the same thing. You get frustrated when you see a problem and you can't solve it in the same way. Can we have an afternoon without talking about things we can't fix? Ah, but we can fix anything. You just have to share it with me. You have to. It's part of the deal. Yeah, I know. Problem shared. Just talk to me. It's not about you. I know it feels like it, but it's not. Then, what is it? <sighs> Tell me. It's... I'll get rid of whoever it is. Surprise! <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> I can't believe we put Maya in this place. Tanya and Libby, is it? Matthew Wilkins, Maya's doctor. Please come in. How is she? I've made a full assessment and I think she's had a reasonable night. When can we see her? Today, if you like. Although she's in a group session now. Has she had antipsychotics? All I can say is... Psychotic? What are you talking about? Maya is not psychotic. It's just a term, Libby. I'm sorry, I can't really divulge any medical information. So I can't know what meds she's on? Not unless she tells you. So you take patient confidentiality quite seriously, then? Completely. I'd like to talk through anything that you feel is relevant to her admission. 
Like the um, stress she's been under? Maya's a working single mum, but I just feel like there's something more to her situation than that. Has there been any recent event that you would consider traumatic? Um, her partner was killed a while ago. She had postnatal depression when JJ was born. Sorry, just double checking. What we tell you is confidential as well, right? Of course. Okay. The thing is... Maya became friends with the patient. She didn't take it very well when the woman died, did she? Tanya? Go on. When the woman died, she tried to resus her long after the team had called it. Is this what you were going to tell me? Yeah. So when our exports increased by 6%, I said to your father, this is nice, what is it? Well, it's just something that I made up myself. Hmm, it needs more salt. Anyway, I said to him, I need to explore options in the Pacific. Fiji, Tonga, Samoa, anywhere there are beaches and a five-star resort. <laughs> Aren't I naughty? Anyway, I was in Australia, so I thought, why not pop over? A flying visit. So, um, how's Bapu, anyway? Eating his own liver. He secretly hates me working. But I'm increasing cash flow so much that he can't bring himself to say anything. And you just love torturing him, don't you? <laughs> That's what wives are for. To keep the husband humble. And how are you, Scotty? Good, thanks. You look a little tired. Have you been unwell recently? Not fine. And married life is agreeing with you? Yes. Excuse me, I've got some work to do. Of course. Give us girls a chance to catch up. Are you fighting already? What? No, we're good. Your father and I didn't start arguing until our third year. We're not arguing. He's just working too hard. All right, then. Come, help me unpack. And don't worry, I will only be staying for a day or two. How can he treat her if he doesn't know what happened? Love. Legally, he can't tell anyone, so I don't see the problem. Legally, yes. Legally, Morally, legally, could he handle it? Legally. Could he sleep at night? Could he accidentally tell a mate who's a cop? We don't know this guy, so we don't trust him. But it's the guilt that is driving her nuts. Confessing might help. Up to her. You know she won't tell. I don't know anything, okay? I don't know if I did the right thing getting my section. I don't know if she's truly insane. And I don't know if we should have told the shrink or not. If you want to take over making all the decisions, go ahead. Our little bird told me you were up for an award. Nominated for it doesn't mean I'll get one. Like, what for? I've only been in the job five minutes. A nice promising newcomer, maybe? Whatever, I won't be holding my breath. Oh, you don't want me to see your moment of triumph? Win or lose, I don't want you to be bored rigid listening to award speech, award speech, etc. Win or lose, you were nominated for something. We'll celebrate or commiserate after, huh? My shout. Oh, does that mean you're coming? I wouldn't miss it. If you win, I want to be there to claim all the glory. You're not mad that I told him, are you? No, it's okay. Death is rather still to I'm afraid. And I suspect you might be carrying some guilt about it. Why should I feel guilty? I'm not guilty. I haven't done anything. Verity, was it? What? The patient you were close to, Verity? Yes, what about her? She was a charity worker. Yeah, yeah, she worked tirelessly on other people's behalf. Admirable. As are your own efforts in that regard, I understand. Yeah, well, I think it's everyone's duty to help people, and as a community leader, it's especially important I take a strong role. I hear that um, Verity began charity work after she inadvertently killed a child. Yes. What was the spark that started your drive towards helping people? Oh, it does have to be a reason. People need help, and if you can, you help them. Indeed. Who's been telling you all this stuff anyway? I just had a little chat with your family. What do they know? Can't you see that I'm completely normal? You can, right? So I'm requesting that you release me immediately. You have no legal right to keep me here. I think we should end the interview now and just let you have some rest. No, I don't need to rest. I need to go home. I need to see my son. Our bedroom is where the bathroom used to be. Please don't ask me how we got the bath out let of it. Let me see. No, Scotty's working in there. We'll be like little mice. No, he's working very hard. And he has no time for you. Is that the problem? There is no problem. Oh, come on. Tell me what is wrong with you two. Uh, Scotty has some family issues weighing him down. Family? The millstones we all carry. 
What of it? Oh, there's something else in it. He was about to tell me when you arrived. Well then, we need to make sure I let you two sort it all out. Yes? I knew you'd understand. <laughs> Absolutely. I'll call your father and let him know I'm staying on. No, I'd better call Auntie Rani first. She's already annoyed I'm not staying with her. So staying on? Know. To run the household. Will things get sorted? Hello, Sunil. Get Auntie Rani on the phone, please. Medication? What for? Who's Dr. Wilkins, he was going to organise for me to go home. He'll see you later to discuss your treatment plan. What are they? Risperidone, one milligram. No, 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 no. I, I need Dr. Wilkins. Now, Maria, please calm down. Have a sit. I'm not interested in anything you have to say. I need to sort this with my doctor. Dr. Wilkins wants you to stay with us a while. You need further assessment and a chance to get more settled in your mind. Hence these. What about the side effects? Sedation, disorientation, it's all okay with you, is it? It's possible you might experience side effects, but we can deal with that. You need rest. And when Dr. Wilkins feels you're better, you'll be discharged. And give them to someone who needs them. Maya, please, I require you to take these pills. I've got rights. Of course you do. Get but Wilkins! Proud father. Finally. Thomas always wanted his son to do better, and now he is. So do you have a favourite number? Oh, lots. The primes, of course. The irrational numbers, and particularly the transcendental numbers. They're just mad. <laughs> Harris, sorry? Why don't we grab a bite? I shouldn't have made you come to this. Sorry, I just can't stop thinking about Myra in that place. Why don't I take you home? This is important to you. And you are more important. But you're MC. You don't have time to go home and come back. It's all right, I'm fine, I'll stay. Thanks for letting me know about tonight. Well, I thought you should know how well your son's regarded. Plus, you think I'm an old snob who thinks his son will never do well. I did. Now I'm beginning to change my mind. Perhaps age has mellowed the right honourable Mr. Dinter. Well, perhaps. I'm less inclined to regard you as a little Miss Bent on Dragon kept to the dark side, at least. You were quite harsh way back when. But I guess you just wanted your son to do well. Uh, I want him to excel. Well, you didn't do so bad. He's a lovely man and a genuinely good doctor. Oh, well, I suppose he wouldn't be up for an award if he wasn't. And for what it's worth, I'm glad you're still in his life. Old friends are true friends. Speaks well of you both. Nothing. Just get changed. Call under the ship. Yeah, I need to finish these rosters. Tomorrow. Is your mother really here on a flying visit? Oh, do you want the bad news or the really bad news? Bad news is she has a suitcase full of baby clothes and she's demanding grandchildren. The really bad news is when she heard that we were having troubles... You told her? She noticed. So she's decided to stay on to run the household. What? Until she's helped us solve our problem. Oh. What can I do? Tell her to leave? Too right you can. My mother cares about us. I'm not about to condemn her for that. I'm sorry, but family is important to me. And it isn't to me. Oh, that's not what I meant. I want her out of here the minute her flying visit is over. No, and don't go making ultimatums. They didn't work on Ty and they will not work on me. So you're saying it's my fault Ty ended up in jail? Scotty, stop this. Fine, do what you want. Invite the whole family to sit around and talk about us. For her groundbreaking work in respiratory care, the award goes to Dr. Felicity Stannis. Congratulations. Next, we have the awards for our long-suffering HODs. Could Kip Denton please come to the table? This award has been especially created for the outstanding contribution from Shortland Street's newest head of department. For Kip Denton's efforts to increase patient throughput by injuring fellow staff members with well-placed banana skins, I present you with the inaugural Golden Banana Award. <laughs> I'd like to thank the committee, uh, the audience, and my proud, my proud 
colleagues, and when Dr. Samuels finally comes out of the coma, I'm sure he'll appreciate this award just as much as I do. <laughs> Thank you. You wanted to see me? Yes, yeah, I am. I wish to leave. You've got no reason to keep me here. Maya, I just need you to stay for some treatment. Why? It's obvious that I'm in complete control of my faculties. Not really, Maya. You're having a period of reactive psychosis, characterised by delusional behaviour, paranoia and depression. But this is going to pass. I promise. Now, please. This is medication that you yourself have prescribed? Risperidone. And you honestly think that I need it? To the very best of my abilities, I'm certain you do. Well, I disagree, but... Silly thing. Yeah, something's washed them down. All gone? Now you're going to feel a bit drowsy, but you're going to have a great sleep, and tomorrow we can talk about how to get you well and back home again, OK? Would you like a hot cocoa? I'm sorry, but we're both lying here miserable. Before you were about to tell me why you were so unhappy. Not now. I've had a long day, I've got another one tomorrow. I'm exhausted. But you're as awake as I am. Just tell me what's wrong, please. What's wrong is I'm working unpaid overtime seven days a week. My brother is rotting in prison when for once he deserves to be rehabilitating out here. Now my mother-in-law is here to stay until everything's fixed. You never talk about your brother. And say what? How you feel. He's going to spend years in prison. How do you think I feel? I think that you feel guilty, but you have no reason to be. I let him down. I let everyone down. You, Ty, Maya, my sister. Maya? What's Maya got to do with anything? I'm her boss. I should have seen it coming, done something. I never see anything coming. This is nonsense. You always do your best for everyone, me included. Let's go back to sleep. No, we have to sort this out between us. If we can't, how, how are we going to cope when we have a family of our own? I don't want to have a family. How the hell would I deal with kids when I can't even deal with adults? What are you talking about? I just told you, I don't want kids. Well, no, not right now. You're not listening to me. My family's screwed up. They're losers and I can't help them. Why would I want to be responsible for more failures? So no kids. Not now, not ever. This Thursday on One, a newborn sea lion gets cold feet when it comes to wetting his flippers. We follow his first aquatic attempts in the zoo at 7.